Folks, it's Larry Lapkin with Builders Edge Insurance Services. And as you know, or may not know, I am a licensed uh, insurance broker and I do a lot of uh, insurance in the state of Oregon, especially for new uh, licensees, guys that are getting their contractor's license maybe for the first time. So today we're gonna talk about a new feature on the Oregon CCB website. By the way, the address to get to that website is oregon.gov backslash CCB. Um, so if you can see it up here. Anyway, one of, the, one of the big problems with the Oregon License Board has been the amount of time that it's been taking to get your application approved. In the past, the only way to submit the application was to either mail it to the license board or to actually walk it in to their office, which I believe is, which is in Salem, Oregon. That's correct. So now I'm excited to tell you that there is a new feature on the website where you can actually apply for your license online. Okay. And it's right here. It says apply for new license. Now, obviously this, assumes that you've already taken the test to pass the exam and you're pretty much ready to apply for the license. Two of the things you're going to need to apply for the license is your surety bond. Um, and we, t we can talk more about that in either in this video or watch my other video. And of course, your proof of liability insurance. And again, that's the topic of a whole nother uh, video. But suffice it to say that uh, if you apply for the license online, you're going to cut about four weeks off the process of getting the license. And I just was on the phone yesterday with the people at the license board, and I wanted to ask them how it's going. And they confirmed that I should say how it's going with this new process. And they confirmed that it's taking like half the amount of time to get the license with the online process than it would be if you were doing the paper application. So again, I'm on the website, again, oregon.gov backslash CCB. And uh, this is pr pretty much the home page. Well, let's confirm that. Yes, it is. So if you go to the right side of your of the screen here, you'll see a box that says apply for a new license. Let's go ahead and click that. It's gonna bring you to another screen and I'm, let's assume that I'm already logged in, uh, which, which I am, but I'm gonna go through this process kind of quickly with you. Basically to get started, you will need to uh, register and get a login. It's pretty easy to do that. Um, I'm not gonna take the time to tell you how to do that right now, but anyway, and then you can cut down here well, let's go to start form. Okay, then you, you basically, these are all the same questions, by the way, that are on the paper application. It's exactly the same. It, the only difference is you're doing it online. Okay, that's the big difference. So the first thing you come to is, you know, what type of, uh, what, how's your business going to be set up? Is it going to be a sole proprietor? Is it going to be an LLC, a corporation, so on and so forth? Most of you, it seems, are either doing, uh, setting your businesses up as a sole proprietorship, an LLC, or a corporation. I haven't seen too many other, too many other people apply differently. Uh, then they want to know the ownership, a little bit about the entity ownership, the name of the entity. Um, if you have already applied with the, uh, with the Oregon Secretary of State for your business license, you're going to need to enter it here. The mailing address, email uh, is the physical address, the same as the mailing. And then, of course, uh, who owns the business? First name, middle name, last name, um, government ID. You're pretty sure you're going to need, yeah, you're going to need either your passport or a driver's license, um, so on and so forth. Uh, do you have a social security number? Pretty sure you're going to need one. And uh, anyway, that's the first screen or maybe the second screen uh assume business name all right this means are you going to have a dba that dba means doing business as so it could be like john doe 
doing business as John Doe Construction. If you're going to add, if you want to have a, a, a DBA or an assumed business name, um, you're going to need to register that with the um, Oregon Secretary of State. Okay, if you have any questions about that, you can call me, I'll walk you through it. All right, moving on to the next box, uh, Oregon Business Identification Number, otherwise known as BIN. Um, you can check on this box, it'll tell you a little bit more. Again, this is not your social security number or your registry number, but just you may need to do a little research on how to get a Oregon business identification number. Maybe that's a topic I can use for another uh, another video. All right, not a big deal. Uh, let's keep moving on. Then you're going to want to know, uh, they want to know what type of uh, license you're getting. Are you going for the residential license? Are you going for the commercial license? Or do you want a dual license? Most of the time, I'm seeing contractors go for the residential endorsement, as it's called. There is a, believe it or not, they even have a little chart here to show um, what the different license types are. So let's, let, I'm not going to get into that right now, but that's something you can talk to, uh, to me about or call uh, whoever's helping you with getting your contractor's license, like one of the license schools. All right, workers comp. Uh, do you have employees? Do you have, uh, are there more than three officers who are not all immediate members of the same family? Yeah, they make a big deal of workers' compensation insurance now, um, depending on the type of business, especially if you're a commercial, uh, a commercial licensed uh, contractor. Again, watch my other videos. I talk about that. All right, construction. Uh, do you have any outstanding construction debt obligations? Obviously, they want a no answer is going to be better there. Uh, has any person on this application had a license refused or revoked in another state? Pretty basic stuff. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these questions because they're pretty, they're, again, they're, they're easy to get through. Uh, mainly, I just want to share with you the fact that you have this option now to getting your license. Probably the most, one of the most important ones right here when you get down to this section about supporting documentation, this is where you want to uh, uh, upload your bond information and your certificate of insurance. This is proving that you have liability insurance. Uh, also proof of passing the exam. You can do all this right here online. It's super easy, super easy. So um, I would say go for this. It's, it's gonna save you four weeks off the process of getting your license if you were going to mail it in. So that's the big deal. Um, there's some real advantages to that. Basically, that's it, my friends. If you have any questions, you can call me. You can also call the license board, but you're going to probably be on hold for about a half an hour. That's how long it took me to get through. Actually, I think it was more like 35 minutes. And that was on a Friday afternoon. So anyway, um, obviously, I'm in the business of I'm in the insurance business. I help contractors with your uh, surety bonds, which is right here. And I help you with getting the insurance certificate, which is obvious, which is, you know, liability insurance. I can also steer you in the right direction as far as your workers' comp insurance goes. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something. Um, feel free to give me a call if you have any questions. And until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. It's Larry with Builder's Edge Insurance Services. Stay tuned. My, I'll put my uh, contact info in at the end of the video here. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Talk soon.